Later tonight, we'll see the Spurs host the Thunder as OKC begins the post-James Harden era. James Harden's post-Thunder life began with a bang last night. He was spectacular. First turn wearing Rockets red, he scored 37, handed out a career-high dozen assists in the Houston win. He went 14 of 25, finished just three points shy of tying his career high. And by the way, the same day the team announced a deal to extend Harden's contract for five more years and $80 million. Only Kiki Vandeweghe and Wilt Chamberlain scored more in debuts with new teams than Harden 37 last night, which must have had the Thunder at home scratching their heads last night. Kevin Durant on how much his world has changed over the last week. The text about the trade, and you know, it was it was a little shocking to be honest, because I didn't know what happened. And you know, people get it confused, but we get attached to people, you know, because you with these guys fighting with these guys every single day, and you kind of build a bond with them, and um, you build that friendship with them over the years, and you know, start to become family. So to see a guy that's been here since day one, since we started this thing, um, get moved like that was tough. It was tough, not just you know, not because of the basketball part of it. But, you know, just to see him every day was, would have been tough. But we got to move on. Uh, we're very excited about the team we have. And uh, it's going to be a fun year. Well, that remains to be seen. It's going to be a different year, certainly, for this young team, uh, a tight group. And, and those three were used to playing together and winning a lot of games. And suddenly, a third, a big third, is missing now. An Olympian is suddenly removed from the roster just a few days before the season begins. How was, much does the, does the loss hurt them on the court? I was very shocked from the trade, but from a business standpoint, you don't want to go $30 million over the cap. And this is just the sort of stuff we were talking yeah, about yes. during the lockout, a small market team, right. who can afford guys and, and who cannot. So, you know, uh, they had to get rid of, of one guy. And, you know, he was that guy. You know, he is a max player. Uh, went to Houston, just got the max. But he reminds me of the unselfish little brother. He came in. He didn't complain that he came off the bench. He right. relished in his role. He learned from the two guys. He kind of stole Ginobili's style and took it to another level, and he's a great player. But now that he's in Houston, he's ready to become a star. You know, they asked him yesterday, are you ready to be the man? And he said yes, and I think he is. At the top of the key in that pick and roll, he's very ginobili -S. He's very tough to beat. So if he plays like that, Houston should do well. They're not going to win a championship anytime soon, but they should do well, and they definitely should make the playoffs. The Thunder, meanwhile, went to the NBA Finals with Harden. They could have rolled the dice and... and had him on the roster for at least another year before restricted free agency comes up. Uh, how about the move to end the drama right away, but at the expense of, of perhaps another shot at the finals? Well, Big Shaq said it. It's all business. So I have to look and say Presti said it was business. But, you know, in Shaq's career, he was the man on every team. But it seemed like you always had an extra leader, a Fisher. What if Shaq and Kobe didn't have Fisher? What if they didn't have Ori? And all I'm saying is on this team that turns the ball over and they're selfish. OKC is a selfish team. I, I said it. They're a very selfish team. Lowest in assist. Who's going to be the facilitator now? When people come off the bench about chemistry, you know, when, when, when two guards are kind of competing, I mean, who is... Who's going to even things out? You know what I mean? So that's my whole thing about it. I, I know it's business, but I'm interested to see how it transcends in the locker room, how the, the other guys that never get to touch the ball, how they play. Does it, does it keep on going? Does Kevin Martin come in and play defense? You know, it's just going to be interesting, kind of like when Perkins was with the Celtics and he left, kind of the same thing, just right. to see how it's going to be.